Hey guys, I am TRS Pokemon. Welcome to my f episode one of my uh, Mystery Dungeon Red Team Let's Play. So uh, yeah, I started this because uh, I mean I'm still uh, sorry, I'm still gonna be continuing my um, my Gold Nuzlocke. But uh, if I get more things going at once, I'll have more stuff to upload during the week, so I have more videos. So that's good. So let's get started. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world of Pokemon. But before I can let you through, I have several several questions for you. I want you to answer them sincerely. Are you ready? Okay. Let the interview begin. Do you hate to be the last person to leave class at the end of a school day? No, not really. I usually am. You broke a rotten egg in your room. What do you do? Open a window. There's a bucket. If you put water in it, how high will you fill it? Probably about half, so I don't spill it. On vacation outings, you want to go with others because I don't want to get lost. Are you cheerful? Yeah, I'm cheerful. There's a scream from behind the door. How will you react? Yank open the door. Do you fall asleep without noticing? Yes, I've done that. Do you like to imagine things for your amusement? Yes. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a boy. You appear to be the brave type. You have a strong sense of justice. You hate evil. You will take on any opponent. You are truly a hero. Go forth. For justice. For peace on earth. Fight the forces of evil. If I'm wrong, we could becoming a true hero. A brave person like you should be. Let's see what Pokemon I am. Watch out. That's cool. That was the final step. Who would you like to have as a partner? Choose Pokemon you want as a partner from this group. So uh, you can choose any of these guys. Uh... I'm a chop, so uh, let's see. Last time I chose a, uh, a Charmander because uh, he learned Smoke Screen. I think Cyndaquil does too, because it's really useful to have some Smoke Screen on your team. So uh, I think I might choose him again, but I'm not sure. Pikachu would be useful. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use uh, Cyndaquil. So yeah. What is your partner's nickname? Uh, Cyndaquil sounds good, considering that's his name. Yeah, if you guys think that's uncreative, I'm sorry, but that's just what I feel like doing. So, go for it. Here we go. So, yeah, this game's really fun, but I've never played the red version. I usually play blue, which is on my DS, so... I feel a pleasant breeze. I hear a voice from somewhere. I wonder who it is. Excuse me. Please wake up. Come on, wake up. Oh, there's me sleeping. Okay. I'm so buff. You're finally awake. Great. Where is this? You were passed out here. I'm glad to see you awake. I'm Cyndaquil. Glad to meet you. And you are? I've never seen you around before. Hmm? You're a human, but you look like a normal machap in every way. No, I'm always this buff. It's true, I've turned into a machap. But why? I don't remember anything. Um, you're kind of weird. Your name? What's your name? My name, that's right. My name is... Um... I'm gonna call myself. I was gonna say Chuck Norris, but uh, I'm just gonna stick with uh, the whole Machop thing and call him Machop. Because that would make sense. Is the name Machop okay? Oh, Machop's your name. Well, it's a funny name. Not quite. I am a Machop. Please, someone help me. There are hair shots. What's wrong? It's horrible, my caterpie fell into a cavern, my poor baby. What? So yeah, this uh this butterfree tells us her son was uh attacked and uh, fell into a cavern, so we have to go rescue it. This sounds bad, we have to go help. So yeah, this game's really fun. So basically, head for the destination while attacking. So yeah, he just kissed kill he just one hit at that sunkern, so that's good. Yeah, you just aim for the stairs. And uh oh, Oh god. I don't really know how to look diagonally in this. I think it's the L button. But I don't know what the L button is on my emulator. Oh, there's one. Oh, I'm just talking to Cynical now, I guess. Alright, I wish it would just, like, try to attack me so I would know what... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Yep, I'm still trying to figure out the controls here, so... Yeah, because I'm used to it on the DS, so... I'm doing this with a keyboard right now, so I don't really know. But, uh, yeah, the map part's really useful, because you can see where you're going. And, uh... Yeah, that's great. You can, uh... 
get to know where you are and like where you've been so you don't go around in circles. Crap! Stop! Uh, don't make me fall asleep. And I'm asleep again. Oh god, is it? Alright, Cynical can take care of it. Oh, Cynical grew to level 6 and learned Smokescreen. There we go. I think I'm going to level up too now. There we go. I'm just going to keep punching the air because Cynical can kill these guys and I can't really. Because I'm still kind of hurt. But, uh, oh, that's not start. Oh, oh, I don't even know what... What? I'm sorry, that, that was the shift button. I, I'm trying to press the... Oh god, I only have 6 HP. Nine. Oh, my chop leveled up. Alright, sweet. So, but yeah, I'm just trying to uh, recover my health here. That's why I'm walking around. Right, that should be good. You recover your health in this game by walking, so. More stairs, and there's the bottom floor with Caterpie. Wah! Mommy, where are you? Sniffle. Oh, come on, Caterpie. Calm down. We came to rescue you. Huh? Your mom's waiting. Let's get you out. Okay. My baby's safe. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could ever thank you properly. Oh, that's okay. It's been dangerous lately with quakes and fissures like that one. It was great to find your little boy unharmed. Please, may I have your names at least? I'm Cyndaquil, and this is my chap. Cool. He's, uh, staring at me adoringly. Those sparkling eyes. It's, uh, a little embarrassing. This doesn't feel bad either. It's like I'm a hero. Helping Pokemon in trouble might be a good experience. Thank you, Cyndaquil and the Chop. I know this isn't really enough, but this is talking about appreciation. Please accept it. And they give us an Orberry, Rossberry, and Peckerberry, I think I said. Thanks for helping. You're very tough. I was impressed. So, uh, listen, the Chop. You don't have to play the stage. Come with me. And look at this. What is the place? Weird. Looks just like uh, a nice place for a chap to stay. If you have a, uh, it's if you have like a water type, it looks like a water thing. I think if you have a trico, it looks like a trico. But uh, this, maybe this instinct's like what well, it's like. Why you tell? Oh, my chap, you're impressed, aren't you? Thought so. That was make a good place for you to live. I was sure you would like it. This is your mailbox. They deliver mail from Pokemon here. You know, it's just like the Fissure Canopy fell into. For some reason, there may have been natural. There have been natural disasters lately. I want to help Pokemon in these tough times, and I want to change things. So, uh, well, I like how you handled yourself. Would you like to join me in a rescue team? Good job with you. I think you will become the. Yes, we're going to form a rescue team. Partners in our rescue team. So, our team name. What is our name going to be? Team Pokemon. No, no. Our team name is going to be. Team. Uh, uh, I don't even know. Um, oh, Team Rocket. There we go. Yeah, there's a good name. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever thought of that before, but yeah, Team Rocket. Is Team Rocket okay? Yes. Oh, Rocket. I like it. It's a good name. Perfect for us. Rescue Team Rocket. <laughs> Let's do good starting tomorrow. That's ironic. And that is how Machop and Cyndaquil began their careers together as a rescue team. Okay. So yeah, that's back to the front page. Yeah, that's the entire game. It's done. No. Uh, it just, it's gonna start here again. And then, next morning. And I wake up. I'm still the same. The way I look, I'm still Machop. But why would I be transformed into a Pokemon? Hmm, I don't understand at all. I feel groggy and sleepy. Not feeling well. I need more sleep. So, go back to my bed and save. Save completed. Awesome. Well, he said I need more sleep, so... Oof, I'm feeling refreshed. I still look like a Pokemon, but... Oh, that's right. That Pokemon, I think it was Cyndaquil? We made a promise to form a rescue team together. I wonder what Cyndaquil's doing. We should... I should go out. So, uh... I go out, and there's Cyndaquil sitting outside, sleeping on my porch, because he's a creep. Huh? Oh, no. Ah, sorry. I was excited I came out here at dawn to wait for you. I must have snoozed off. Anyway, today marks the start of a rescue team. Let's always do our best. But anyway, we don't have any job offers yet. Uh, oh yeah, maybe there's something in the mailbox. Let's check. So the cool check the mailbox. And we got a rescue team starter set. I knew it'd be in there. It's a rescue team starter set. They always give you one if you start a rescue team. And so the cool opened it. And there's a rescue team badge, a toolbox, Pokemon news. Yep, pretty good stuff in there. Rescue team badge, toolbox for carrying stuff. And then, uh... Pokemon news, so we can uh, read some news, I guess. Is there any other mail? No, obviously not. Alright, so, 
There are any rescue jobs we'll be getting mail, but nobody knows about us since we're a new team, I guess. So we have to go check the bulletin board or whatever. Oh, wait. There's a Pelipper. Clink. Oh, one wonder what that could be. He's the mailman, the Pelipper, in case you didn't know. I'm like, hey, let me check my mail this time instead of you taking it. Let's see what's in the mailbox. Maybe it's a rescue job offer. What does it say? Bzz, bzz, bzz. I heard about you from Caterpie. Please, we need your help. Magnemite is in trouble. A strange electromagnetic wave flowed through a dungeon, and it sucked together Magnemite and Magnemite. This isn't enough to form Magneton. It's not complete now the way it is now. Please, we need help. Bzz, 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 for Magnemite's friend. What do you think? Should we go? Yes, let's go. That's the spirit. Let's do our best. Yeah. I love the little thing they do where they like raise their fists in the air. They're like, yeah. So now we're going to Thunder Wave Cave. I love the music in this game. Oh, here you are. Bzz, bzz. My friends are in this cavern. Bzz, bzz. My friends should help on basement 6th floor. Bzz, help them. Bzz, 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 bzz. Bzz. Bzz, bzz, bzz. So, uh, yeah, there are only six floors in this one. So, uh, oh, that apple. I love apples because, uh, there's this thing in this game you can do where you get, like, hungry and it's annoying. Oh, god, poison. Oh, you poisoned me. Crap. And I don't know which button is my start button. Just wait a minute. Uh, let's see. Joypad. Configure. Start. Enter. Uh, let's see. Maybe it's not supposed to be start on this. I don't even know. L is there. A and S. Select is right shift. Okay. Well, I don't know. Then. Oh, I guess I move that. Don't want shift. I want to open up my bag. Can I not open up my bag? No. I guess I can't open up my bag. Oh, I, no, wrong button. There we go. Oh, well, looks like I'm gonna die from poison then. If I can't even open up my bag, that's pretty dumb. Um, let me just look at this again. Let's see, we got up, down, left, and right. A and B, L and R. Select, start. So I'm gonna try. I don't even know. Pretty sure I've done all these buttons and it hasn't let me open up my thing. Maybe it's supposed to be opening when I press select and it's just like screwing up. Cause that would make sense. Sleep seed. Why is there no, like, act legitimate, like, start button on this? It annoys me. Yeah, I died. I fainted. Because I can't even... Alright, that's it. We have to go do the same thing again. This time, Cynicals will be like, Oh, this time we won't fail. Let's try to get it right today. Yeah, uh, after this I'll go look up how you're supposed to, uh... Do that without completely sucking, so... I'll look up afterwards what button you have to press to uh, open up your bag on that. Alright. So, yep, hopefully we can get past the first darn floor this time. Oh god, a lot of Pokemon here. Alright, there we go. Because I know on the one for DS, you can up open up your menu and you get some pretty cool stuff. Oh, Glass Seed. See, like, if I could open up my menu, I would, be, I would be able to choose my moves, use my items, all that cool stuff. But, I can't do that, because the game doesn't want me to open up my menu. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. Coughing. I, I was attacked by wild coughing earlier today in my household, so... And I can proceed, because I don't care. Alright, third floor, and... And, oh yeah, you're gonna use Leer Cyndaquil. Oh, Cyndaquil's gonna go another level. Nice. I don't remember leveling up so easily in this game. I just remember it taking a bit longer. Well, I guess it'll take a bit longer to get, like, once we get farther along in the game, I guess. You know what I mean. Oh, uh, so yeah, it's kind of odd to commentate. What? A Voltorb. Just don't use self-destruct. Oh god, down to eight. There's some money. Cynic will fight him. Oh god, poison point? Really? Really? 
you going to poison me? Open menu with B. Oh my god. No, I'm open. I'm trying to press B. Alright, it's... There we go. Items. Cherry? Nothing at... Oh, beep. That's paralysis. God darn it. No! Oh my god. There we go. Items. Barnberry. Alright, that was fully healed. Hopefully this will cure my paralysis going into a different floor. Yes, it did. Alright, awesome. Alright, now that I can press B... Moves. Low kick. That's awesome. See? There we go. Yeah, the, once I get used to these controls, I should be able to play this faster. Low kick and attack. And, ooh, focus energy, nice. Yeah, um, <laughs> I used to, uh, when I was really young, I liked hacking. I, I wasn't when I was really young, I guess, because it was, like, over the summer. But, uh, I had, uh, Mystery Dungeon Sky on my DS, because I have a flashcard, so I, it's basically, like, an action replay built into it, so that's why I had it. And I had, uh, it has, like, you can put games on a microSD and put it in a little card and play them on your DS, so I had that game on there. And so, uh, I thought it'd be funny to teach my Chikorita, who was my, uh, like, companion thing, to teach her Draco Meteor, so I hacked in Draco Meteor for her. And then, um, oh god. Oh, I'm paralyzed. That makes sense. No, I didn't... No. Alright, you can kill them because... Did not mean to do that. Let me... Please, would you just let me... There we go. Items, Orenberry. There we go, I'm all healed. It's all good. Alright, hopefully they just don't kill Cyndaquil. Alright. Um, yeah, Cyndaquil. But, uh, yeah, so, what was I saying? I had, um... I had, uh, yeah, I hacked in Draco Meteor for it. And on this game, Draco Meteor, it's a, it's a great move, as you can already tell. But, uh, on this game... Alright. It's like, oh, I press B, and it doesn't open up my menu. Press B again, and my menu opens up and closes. It's like, alright, stop. Oh, god. I forgot. Quick attack in this game, like, goes, like, two spots ahead of where you actually are. So it's annoying. But yeah, so Draco Meteor, like, attacks every enemy in the cavern. So basically... Like, there'd be like six enemies within like ten spaces of us, and they'd all just die because I was using Draco Meteor, which is a really powerful move, and like, usually there's just no like tackle and ember, so it was, it was funny because I was just raping all of them, and then, but it got to the point where the game wasn't even fun because your companion can use whatever moves they want, you can't really control it. You can set one to be preferred so they use that more than others, but you can't really choose what they do. I think you can do something with a pebble, but... Oh, gravel rocks three. Yeah, you can throw these at people. Alright, five floors, so the next floor we're done, and then I'm gonna quit recording for today, because I figured we did her. But, yeah. Um, oh. Yeah, it was pretty fun. God, I'm so terrible at this. can't believe I already died once. Alright, there we go, final floor. Magmites. Oh, there they are, let's get them out safely. But, uh, our bodies separate, separated. Rejoice. Bzz, 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 yay, bzz, yay. Be thankful, bzz, you are our hero. $500 and some, oh, a reviver seed, that's awesome. Those things are great, so if I die, it just revives me. I was really tense and nervous today. I'm exhausted now, let's go get some sleep. Let's keep up with good work tomorrow. See ya. So, now I can save my adventure. Save completed. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna... I'm going to sleep. Oh, wait, I'll show you guys this part. Where, where am I? Maybe, maybe is this a dream? Oh, there's someone here. What, who is it? Someone I know? Hmm, I can't remember. 
So yeah, those parts are kind of important, the dreams that you have throughout it, so... Yeah, I think I dropped something, but I can't quite remember what that dream was about. Oh well, today's another day of rescues. What if I have my mail? Check the mail. Better check the mailbox. So yeah, I'm gonna finish recording now, and uh, thanks for watching. If you like this series, subscribe, and let me know if you like this series, and I can, when I'm done with this one, I'll continue making Mystery Dungeons. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.